All right, so there's many different ways to make a grip for your sword. Uh, the way that I'm going to show you is with a piece of foam like this, or if you have any blue, spare blue foam, that's what you can use, and some rope. All right, so what you want to do is you want to take the foam uh, that you just apply glue to, onto the handle and you just wrap it around. Okay, uh, and then we want to get a few pieces of cloth tape ready. Okay, now once we got the cloth tape on the handle, uh, it's almost done. We just want to glue, uh, you can use any glue you want, the rope, and you want to wrap it tight all the way around the handle. Again, there are many different ways for you to construct the grip. This is just one of the ways uh, for you. Alright, as you can see this part is a little bit time consuming, uh, as you can see what I'm doing is I am putting glue on the rope bit by bit, a little bit at a time. Once I have some glue on my rope, I am putting some glue on the handle. Uh, I'm only doing this about 2-3 inches at a time, so it takes a lot of patience, uh, but this part is very easy. Once the glue is dried, all I gotta do is wrap the rope around the handle until I got all the way down to the end. Alright, this is the last part of the grip. I'm uh, putting on the rope. Notice how I'm actually learning the weapon. cut off the excess. That's it. So once you got the rope onto your grip, you want to take some cloth tape and simply reinforce your rope. Uh, I've already done one layer of it. You can go ahead and apply a second layer of it. This will ensure your grip stays strong and comfortable. Well, there you have it. Once our grip is done, our sword is almost completed. All we have to do now is create a cloth cover for the striking surface. Now, if you do not know how to sew or do not want to worry about sewing, there's other things you can do. You can take a roll of cloth tape like what we've been using and simply put tape along the striking edge that will count as cloth covering. If you're from a realm that does not require you to have a cloth covering and you painted your entire weapon with latex, then you're basically done. Another thing you can do is you can take strips of cloth like this and duct tape them to your edge of the sword and that will count as cloth covering as well. Now in the next step of the tutorial, we're going to show you how to simply sew a cloth covering. It's actually pretty easy.